Welcome back. Let's set up the Canon 60D, but really it can pretty much be any Canon DSLR with manual audio settings. Let's set that up to get good levels or how I set it up to get the levels that you are hearing here, for example. So if we just go into our menu, go to the sound recording options, make sure that it's set to manual mode, and then scroll down one to the actual levels. And then as you're talking into the microphone that you are using with your camera, I'm just using a simple lav microphone that's less than probably $50. It's going directly in to my Canon 60D and it does a really great job. It doesn't produce any self noise. So any noise that would be coming in would be from not setting up the camera right because you're running the preamp too loud probably or using auto. So go in, turn the sound settings all the way down and as you come up, you start to click through the audio levels and you can see they're sort of marked off in quarter marks from zero to 100% and get up to where you start to see your audio meter hit that minus 12 mark. Now for me, that setting is gonna end up right at the first quarter mark, 25% is where I'm gonna set it. And this is probably a little hotter than ideal for the Canon preamp, it can get a little noisy, but at this point, it's not gonna create enough noise that it's gonna cause a problem in my audio. I can remove a little of that in post-production if I need to, but even if I didn't, I would still have great sounding audio. So if you have a microphone that allows you to not really go past that first quarter mark, then you have a good microphone that is sensitive enough and hopefully it's not producing any of its own noise like I mentioned up front. And then obviously you're gonna bring up the level in post-production and that is one of the keys. We want that good signal to noise ratio and somewhere around that minus 12, you're going to get enough signal, which is your voice, to noise ratio that time when you are quiet like that, where there's no audio coming from the speaker, the separation between voice and background noise is enough that you're not going to hear it when the person is speaking. You'll notice that that minus 12 is the only mark between zero and negative 40, essentially off. And you see that minus 12, and it even has a green mark underneath it. This is there for a very specific reason, because that's what they're showing you is sort of the optimal level to have your audio meter sort of hovering around, a little below it, a little above it, somewhere in the average around that minus 12. Now I actually like to get my meters up and right at that minus 12 or even a little bit above. It really depends on what you're recording. If you don't know how loud your sound source is gonna be, if it's gonna be louder without you really being able to adjust for that, then you might want to come down and allow more headroom. That headroom is that space between, in this case, minus 12 to zero that you have extra room to get louder without it peaking the audio. So that's why they like to have you right around minus 12 and I'm fine with that level. I aim to be a little above it. So you're seeing some of the meter turn yellow when you are talking normally. So talk normal into your mic, adjust this setting, get to where it's about minus 12 into that yellow and you'll have good audio from your Canon 60D, your Canon. <laughs>